Hey guys, it's Shani and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing a clothing haul. I also have a few other bits and bobs like bags and shoes and stuff like that. I'm super excited because this is a collaboration with lulus.com. They have some amazing products and I can't wait to share them with you. So I will leave everything that I'm gonna share with you guys in this video in the description below if you are interested in any of it. So let's go ahead and jump straight into this. Bindi is sitting on my pile of clothes. Out of the whole floor, she's got to sit on my clothes. The first thing that I have is a bodysuit. I have a really weird obsession with bodysuits. I love them so much, they're just so comfortable. And you can just chuck on a pair of high-waisted jeans or anything like that, and it looks amazing. So I decided to pick up like the sandy, pinky, mobby color just because I have so many white and black clothes and I just need to step out of my comfort zone even if it's a little bit. I wore this yesterday and it was super comfortable, so it has the buttons up the back and then the little clips down the bottom. So I usually find it really hard to find bodysuits that actually fit me because I have a super long torso, so I always tend to get a massive wedgie, but this one is amazing and I'm so excited. I feel like I'm gonna wear that too much. <laughs> the next thing that we have here is a pair of bikinis. So again, I wanted to try something that was a little bit of a different color. I absolutely love the style of this. It has crisscross at the back and then you can readjust the little triangles right here if you want more booby or you want to put your booby away. So I'm a size 10 or medium in bikinis. I don't know why. Everything else is small, but these are medium. So this is what the bottoms look like. These ones have little cutouts on the side and they are really cheeky as well. I am so excited to wear these ones, even though it is the first day of winter here in Australia. <laughs> I had to get them. I just had to. The next thing that I have is this little black basic dress. So this one goes to my knees. I don't like wearing anything that is above my knees. I feel like I've already done that. Like when I was 12, 13, I like to have my butt cheeks out. You know where there's like high-waisted shorts and they're like completely out. But yeah, I like to keep all of that tucked away, but it's still showing a bit of back skin as well. So I think it looks really nice. It has lots of crisscrosses and I just love buckles. Dresses. I finally picked up a skirt that I can wear in the daytime. So this one is a white pencil denim skirt. I also want to get the blue one really bad. I think that would look amazing. I think this one especially will look really good with a nude crop. Um, so I have lots of skirts, but only clubbing skirts. So I've never worn a skirt in the daytime. That's why it took me so long to pick up something like this. But I tried it on and I absolutely love it. You know how I said I'm obsessed with bodysuits? Well, I had to pick up a few in the same style but different colors because I wear them that much. So this is what the next one looks like. It has longer sleeves, which I really love because I have really broad shoulders, thanks to my mom. So anything that goes past the shoulder kind of just like tucks it in a little bit. It has a little choker. Well, I wouldn't call it a choker, but a little piece of fabric that goes around the neck to keep it nice and classy. And of course, I had to get the exact same one in the grey shade. There's just so many different ways you can dress up bodysuits. Let's start with the white skirt that I just showed you. You can do white high-waisted jeans. Everything is just high-waisted in my mind. I love it. Oh, yes, stepping out of my comfort zone a little bit. So I got this denim top. It is a long sleeve top, but the reason I got this is to tie it around my waist so I can kind of be a bit like pig and mia, a little bit country, but still looking really sleek. Um, I don't think I would wear it as like a normal top. I definitely just wanted it as an accessory around my waist. So I'm so excited to dress this up. I don't really know how or what I'm going to wear it with, but I'm going to make it work and you're probably going to see it on my Instagram. The last piece of clothing that I have here is a white basic crop. I love spaghetti straps so much. They're super elastic -y and stretchy. And then we have a little flap at the back. So it is kind of backless, but you can definitely get away with wearing a bra still. So about a week ago, I was supposed to go to a festival, but turns out I was sick. So I couldn't even wear my new arm jewelry. It has little leaves hanging off and I just think it's so boho. It's a beautiful bronze shade and you can stretch it to your arm size. So I'm going to wear it when I go to a festival up here. Although I don't know when the next festival is going to be. Because I couldn't get my tickets for Splendor. Could you imagine me at a festival just like shimmy, 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 shimmy. I also picked up another statement piece for a festival that I didn't get tickets to. But I still am definitely going to make this work. So when you have like high-waisted jeans or skirts or anything like that, you can just put this around your waist. I cannot wait to try this out. It's so cute. I had to pick up another body chain. This is what it looks like here. I actually forget how you're supposed to wear this, but when I saw it on the side, I was like, oh my God, that is so cute. I'm pretty sure you wrap it around your belly. So I think it'll be perfect for like when you're taking photos in bikinis, just to add a little bit more pizzazzle. And this definitely is more of my style than the other ones because I feel like they're more festively. That's definitely why I got them. And this one is more for like... Every day, 
The next thing that I picked up is this bag. So I'm going to be using this as a clutch for clubbing. I think it is so nice. I love the rolly up thing because then it's like less likely for you to you know, get really drunk and lose your stuff. You can wear this as a bag because it has a strap around here as well. But I just love basic black, neutral, white, nude, anything. This is gorgeous. I also picked up another clutch. This is what it looks like here. So it is white with gold studs all over it. It definitely has a lot going on. The reason I got this is because when I wear basics or something like maybe a white basic dress when I go clubbing, I thought this would be perfect to really dress it up. So again, you can use this as a bag with these clips here. You have a zipper and plenty of room to put lots of stuff in. Okay, so these are essentials in my opinion. If you guys don't have these, you absolutely need to get them. So the first one we have here are nipple covers. They look like this and all you do is you stick them over your nipples when you're wearing a backless dress or if you just don't want to wear a bra and you cannot see your nipples. And you can reuse them if you stick the plastic on the back as well. So keep those safe. Don't get too drunk because then you won't remember to take them off and you'll probably go to bed with them on like I've done quite a lot of times. I also got another style of nipple covers and I'm pretty sure these ones are more focused on not being able to see your hard nipples. So you basically just pop these little flowers or the circle material over your nip. Next we have two makeup products. So the first one is the, well, I mean, it's not really a makeup product, but it's what you clean your beauty blender with. This is honestly the easiest way to clean your beauty blender. It has just like a little piece of soap in there and you just rub it around and squeeze your beauty blender and all the foundation comes out straight away. I have used up a whole one of these before and I absolutely love it. It is the easiest way to get stains out of a beauty blender. Now I have a clean pink beauty blender. I, don't, I thought I had to buy more but I'm like no. It's better to save money and get this instead. So the next thing that I have is the NYX Angel Veal um, Skin Perfecting Primer. I've just heard so many people talk about this and for me in Australia it is kind of hard for me to get a hold of NYX products so I thought while I was on the site I may as well get this since I've heard so many amazing things about it. Last but not least I picked up a pair of classic black pumps. I love these so much because the length of them is perfect for clubbing. I don't want anything higher than this otherwise I've got a longer way to fall down and I don't feel like doing that. I love the little strappy things that go around the ankle as well because it adds a little bit of something to the shoe but it isn't over the top and wrapping all the way around the leg. So I'm pretty sure this is the suede material I know how it's like a little bit fluffy, just super comfortable and I cannot wait to rock these. So there we have my Lulu's haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely am going to have a lot more hauls coming up because I mean, I've just been going on a shopping frenzy and I can't stop myself. So I just thought I may as well share it with you guys. Again, I'll leave everything in the description box if you are interested. Please give this video a big thumbs up because it helps me out so, so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.